Jailbreak is a Pavlov VR map mod where you and a group of other prisoners are tasked with escaping from the prison within the time provided. Depending on how many people are in the server, one to three players will be nominated as the guard. It is the guard's job to prevent the prisoners from misbehaving and escaping. Before playing, please take time to read and understand the rules posted within the walls of the prison. Other players won't hesitate to kick you if you break these rules. There is a range of ways to escape from the prison, each of which require a different combination of tools to open. The prisoners win the game if they all escape, and the guards win if the time runs out. This map adds a few extra controls to the game. These controls can be found on posters around the map. In this video, I'll be covering the controls for the HTC Vive 1s. The controls utilised in this map are the trackpads, triggers, and the grip buttons. This map makes use of an inventory which can be opened by tapping the left side of the trackpad on your right controller. You can interact with the buttons in this window by pointing with your left hand and pulling the trigger. In this inventory you can craft simple items and view your cache of materials. Materials spawn around the map and can be picked up by walking over them. These materials can be dropped by clicking on their respective boxes. To purchase items, walk up to a vending machine and open your inventory. Purchasable items will be lifted on the left and these can be bought by selecting them and clicking the purchase button at the lower right hand corner of the window. Advanced items can be made with your materials at workbenches. Easy to access workbenches can produce basic items and the more difficult to reach benches can craft complex items. Tools can be picked up by pointing your hand at the tool and pressing the grip button once. These can be dropped again by pressing the grip button again. To use the tool, place it over the things it can be used on and pull the trigger. If a tool isn't working, try dropping it and picking it up again. When an item is picked up in the right hand, it can be hidden by clicking up on your right trackpad. This allows you to hide items from other prisoners and guards and also allows you to pick up a second item in your right hand. Items can be picked up in your left hand but cannot be hidden. Each tool can only be used for a specific purpose. Some of these items can only be picked up by a guard and guards can pick up every tool. Tools that can only be used by guards are batons, tasers, handcuffs, repair tools, and riot shields. Tools that can be used by both prisoners and guards are the pickaxe, health kit, food, cigarettes, baseball bat, boxing gloves, brass knuckles, shiv, key card, lock pick, guard key, hammer, bulk cutters, pipe bomb, seeds, shovel, and the license plate. That's a pretty long list, so I've left a link to a document containing these items and their specific functions below in the description. In order to escape, you must collect materials and sneakily craft tools to open the escapes. A list of what can be created at each workshop table is in the document in the description below. If a guard catches you with a prohibited tool, which is any tool that could be used to attack a guard or break open an exit, they will be allowed to handcuff you in order to dispose of it. There are a total of 4 exits located in the map and each require multiple tools to open, so it is a good idea to group with other prisoners and each hide one of the tools in your right hand. When a prisoner escapes, it will be announced over the loudspeakers. This alerts the guards and they will most likely run up the guard towers. These towers give a clear view of the two shelters that prisoners can safely hide in once escaped. These shelters provide rocks to break for money and vending machines to buy weapons and tools to open the other escapes. The escape I find easiest to open can be found at the right hand side of the backyard. Bolt cutters, a keycard and a hammer will be needed to open this exit. The downside to this exit is that you require a keycard to open the door and once out you can't re-enter the same way. Another escape can be found at the front where the two large concrete gates are. This can be reached in a variety of ways, from the small mining area by cutting the fence, through the front doors with a keycard, from the parking garage by using a keycard, through the cafeteria by breaking the floor in the two vents, or by breaking the fences in the backyard. Once these gates are reached, a pipe bomb will be needed to blow up the first one. The second one can be blown up with a pipe bomb, or bolt cutters can be used to break the fences instead. Since these large gates can't be repaired by guards, it is a good idea to blow both of them up if possible. There is another escape that can be found down the hole in the back of the cafeteria and through the first vent on the left that can be broken with a crowbar. This leads to two tool bars that both need to be broken with a crowbar as well. Here I am using a pipe bomb as I hadn't realised you could use a crowbar at the time of recording. The last escape can be found in the basement through these three doors which can be opened with keycards. Bolt cutters will be needed to open the fences, and the two pipe bombs will be needed to break both of the sewer bars. You'll find that you, as a guard, are unable to walk through these escape routes. If you are chosen as one of the guards, it is your duty to keep the prisoners under control. As a guard, you have access to all doors, including the ones with the blue light. 
You'll spawn with a random gun, but other guns can be collected by walking over the green buttons in the front reception area. While you are a guard, you are only allowed to kill a prisoner if they own a large primary weapon, attack you, or are in a prohibited area. Prohibited areas include any area that can only be accessed with a keycard, or areas that can only be accessed by breaking a floor, vent, fence, or sewer bars. Although you are allowed to kill a prisoner that is in an area that is only accessible by a keycard or key, refrain from doing so and give them a chance to come back into a non-prohibited area. The more you play this map, the easier it will become to escape. Unfortunately, not all the prisoners will be able to easily escape, so once you have escaped, collect money in one of the safe shelters to buy weapons and tools to open the other escapes. After your escape, you will be given armor to show guards that you have escaped. Opening the other escapes will make it easier for all the prisoners to escape within the given time frame, but going back in is very risky as guards will kill you if you own a large gun or break the other escapes. You will also find that once you have escaped, guards will most likely camp at the towers at the corner of the prison. It is important to kill them before running out of the shelters to open the other exits. That's it for this tutorial. I've left a link to my Twitch channel in the description where I stream other VR games. Thanks for watching.